What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to add an alternate uniform into NCAA Basketball 10. So before we get started, I just want to mention that you can only add in one alternate per team. We're currently working on a way to fix this, whether it's by an external tool or just natively in game, but yeah, that's what we're limited to for now. So, we're going to open up the Madden Extreme DB Editor, um, and then we're going to click File Open. And then in your data tab under this directory right here, you're going to open the MMDB folder and then select this file, nbangdb.db. So then, sort by the name tab and locate the bofo tab. So from here, what we're going to want to do is sort by the perk field. And, and so then you're going to want to find your team's ID. So let's say I'm going to give, um, we'll just say Air Force, we're going to give Air Force an alternate. They have the ID of zero. You guys will have a copy of this spreadsheet um, in the DB editing pack. But so yeah, Air Force has the ID zero. So that's pretty easy. So going back to the tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're gonna copy, we're gonna right click and click copy record. So once once that's done, we're gonna resort by the perk tab and we should have three um, uniform slots under the ID zero. These, these slots, these empty slots don't matter, these two. Um, yeah, don't worry about that. So, um, your new record is going to appear right here. You'll know it's new because it has big record, RECNO, which stands for record number. So then we're going to locate the COPC tab. We're going to change that to 10. That's going to make it an alternate uniform. And you're going to see that 10 is the naming convention as well in, uh, the, in your folder directory. But we're going to cover that later. So then we're going to want to sort by the J-O-O-W field it's right there so you're going to notice that there is one for every uniform it's unique so the last one was 1240 so we're going to locate our uniform slot again by we're going to resort by the perk tab and uh, we're going to find our uniform yep this is the one so we're going to add um, I believe the last one was 1240 so this one's gonna be 1241. I'm just gonna sort by um, record number just to make sure. Since, yeah, so 1240, 1241, Java tab. Yep, looks good. Okay, so now we can save our DB, click File, Save. And so we should have our alternate slot in game, but we need to add some files for it. So, to do that, we're going to open our um, our game directory again, go into the data tab. So, I'm not going to make a uniform for this, um, but obviously if you're going to make an alternate, you should make a uniform. So, we have some files to copy. So, under the jersey tab, you'll notice that there's um, kit underscore zero underscore zero dot rpsgo. So what this is, is the kit and then the team ID and then the uniform ID. So it is zero for, so the last underscore zero, it would be underscore zero if it's, if it's a home uniform, underscore one if it's an away uniform, underscore 10 if it's an alternate. So we're gonna copy these two files, click control C and then control V. So we're gonna rename this to kit underscore underscore zero underscore ten dot rpsgo we're going to do the same thing for the dot one file and the dot rpsgo file rpsgo dot one so then we are going to yeah that looks good we are going to go into the scene assets folder and click font and we're going to the font folder so you're gonna notice the same thing. It's gonna be names underscore zero underscore zero dot bft and then names underscore zero underscore one dot bft. 
So this doesn't have a one file, so we only need to copy one file. So we're gonna delete this, do underscore 10 again. So we're gonna scroll down and locate our numbers file. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna do the change the last underscore zero to underscore two. Okay, so um, now I think we are we're good to go. One last thing to cover is that jersey preview. This um, the jersey preview will just be a green box. You can change this by going to the UI folder, then art assets, and then jerseys, and then it will be underscore. It, it, it will be under the jersey ID um, J one ten dot big. Uh, I might make a tutorial on them later.